This is called Phil Carter, Film Director. <laughs> Phil Carter, a mop handle, a paper plate glued to the top with Clint Eastwood's face drawn in Byro. Leave it, Phil, I know it's you. I just want to touch the award, see if it's real, says Phil Carpenter. Car Phil Carter. He hovers like dust. Steven Spielberg spits on the gold statuette, then rubs it on his trousers. He waits for Phil Carter to put down and mop Clint Eastwood, then here. Phil Carter follows the distorted lines of his face in the Oscar's reflective surface. It doesn't feel mass-produced, he thinks, and yet they must give out loads of them. <laughs> For a black and white drama about the Holocaust, you say, says Phil Carter. Jurassic was fun, says Stephen, but I really felt I hit my mark with this one, that I wanted to hit my mark with this one. It was about a guy called Oscar. Fate, yeah? Phil Carter wasn't listening. He rested his hand on Stephen's desk, brushed the breast of his jacket as if dismissing a thought, then looked around the room. Casual. Guilty. Where's the Oscar, Phil? What Oscar? The statuette, you had it. I looked away for a moment. A serious face from Phil Carter. Serious face number 54, reserved for emergency situations. I have no idea what you're on about, Steve, but if you think you won some kind of award, for a 1940s talkie about Oscar the Grouch, maybe you've been working too hard. Stephen shades his forehead, then smiles nervously. You're tired, Steve. So tired, says Phil Carter. And then... Why not we make the next, next one? A sequel to Jurassic, maybe? Phil Carter, a mop handle, a paper plate glued to the top, with Steven Spielberg's face drawn in Byro. Robert Zemeckis flaps his dressing gown over his bare thigh and tips four sugars into his coffee. You didn't need to bring me breakfast, Phil. I just want to touch the award, see if it's real, says Phil Carter. He hovers like dust. Thank you.